What's up, Novi? And welcome back to Cultureverse. I am, of course, your host, Caden, and my co-host, Matia, is here as well. Hey, Nova. So we're going to get into things in a second, but uh, real quick, just a quick announcement. If you want to be on the podcast, we're going to make a form, and we'll send it out with Cat's Eye News, and you just fill it out, and we'll make our decision by next week. Deadline will be Tuesday or Wednesday. And, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So... Topic one, we have HBO Max has been trying to make some big moves, as we know that, you know, Warner Bros. and Discovery made a merge. So that means HBO Max and Discovery are also merging. They are going to be calling it Max from now on, which I don't really know how I feel about. And what 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 are your thoughts on that? I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of mad they changed the name. I I like the way HBO Max sounds. It sounds a lot better than Max. Um, I don't know much about Discovery do they have their own streaming service? Yeah, they do. Okay, all right. What's anything I might know on there? or? Uh, Probably not. Discovery Animal typically Planet. does more nature things. Yeah, yeah, that's what you I was, know, that Discovery I was Channel. Um, I mean, no, I, I don't really got a problem with it. I have HBO Max, personally. I know that they're doing a new, like, pricing tiers. Uh, For that, for those who don't know, the pricing tiers are Max Ad Light. You pay $10 a month or $100 a year, and uh, I'm guessing you will get some ads here and there. Second is Max Ad Free, sixteen dollars a month, one fifty a year, or Max Ultimate Ad Free, that's twenty dollars a month or two hundred dollars a year, and you get four K video and you have like four concurrent streams. Um, I th- it kind of just seems like a money grab to me. I'm not gonna lie. Hundred percent. Yeah, it, which I mean, I don't blame them if I own the big corporation too. I I do the same thing, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really have a problem with it. Because I know I get my HBO Max through my DirecTV. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what, what, what do you think about it? Um, From our state, okay, so I actually, to be honest, yeah, it's a money grab, 100%, when these type of moves are made. But it's a very smart choice, and it's actually more convenient for us and them. It's Or it's better. There's an advantage. Because Hulu, <clears throat> they also have the ad system and the free and the free ad subscription as well. And that actually does do pretty well. And that helps them bring in more money because, sure, you're kind of like lowering the price for like the lower tier. But you're also, if you think about it, you'll be getting more money because more people will subscribe to that. So let alone people are paying HBO Max to put their ads on. They're like, oh, he's doing millions, millions and millions of people use HBO Max. Big companies, you know, you might see like a Gerber life insurance ad on there or something. Exactly. And, uh, like, so, yeah, it, it is a good move by them. Yeah, that's also, yeah, now that you bring that up. And it's cheaper, too, I think, uh, because what I don't know the going rate for it is, like, right now. 18? Yeah, probably Maybe. 18, yeah. 20, yeah, something like 18. that. So, I guess, you know, if you don't mind ads, then $10 a month is not bad at all. And not HBO Max has a, a lot of great classics on there. Yeah. Uh, I personally think it is the best streaming service. Yeah, Whenever I, I need something to watch, I go there and I always find something new. Or if I want to rewatch something, uh, I will just go to HBO Max. They, great. It, it, it's just a great streaming service in general. Yeah, they have, they have great things on there. Um, like I actually like the like we, I remember we talked about Godzilla vs Kong. We mm-hmm. have some like other things that they put on there, and then like Mortal Kombat. So, kind of like with Mortal Kombat and like speaking like with Mortal Kombat. Since their second movie is being uh, starting production, I think that it'll be. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be as big of a release as the as first the one. first one. Yeah, the first one was getting a lot of hype. I remember seeing a lot of ads and commercials yeah. for it. You know, it, I liked it. I, yeah, it yeah, wasn't bad. I liked it. it they, bad. Like you said, they could have executed it a little bit better. Yeah. But I mean, I guess for a straight up, you know fight gore movie it was not bad at all oh. i am a little mad they killed off one of my favorite characters right away <laughs> they did not have to do my boy kung lao like that but uh they did and yeah but no for the second one i am really excited i know we're gonna see new characters we're gonna see yeah. more sub-zero and scorpion since they mm-hmm. came in towards the end uh we are also gonna get noob saibot scorpions yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sub-zero well brother. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then <laughs> Who knows who else we might see? We might get the final see Shao Kahn or something like that. Yeah. Baraka. Who knows? We might. Yeah, we might see. Uh, I want to see Rain. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Reptile. Who's we did Aaron see Bo- Reptile oh, we did? in the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe it wasn't Reptile. It was 
one of the reptile species. Yeah. Because yeah. he got killed off right away, too, when he was mm -hmm. fighting Sonya Blade. And, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that was just reptile because there's a lot. Of, there's a big roster. I mean, you got to kill some off. Yeah. E, who, who? Aaron Black. I want to see Aaron Black. I hate Aaron Black. I really? think. I think it's just because for me, because I was such a competitive player in Mortal Kombat, because mm -hmm. I love those fighting games like that and then Justice. And every time I went against Aaron Black, and you know, I would go somewhere like, say, Cabal, Noob, Baraka. Yeah. And they they just do the same. They just take out the guns and they just start blasting. Yeah. And you can't do yeah, nothing. And, like I had to do. That. I had to find a character who can teleport. I had to pull mm -hmm. like Scorpion or something, yeah. or Kung Lao. And that's uh, fair. Yeah. That's fair. I'll give you no, that. I I I generally hate Karen, yeah. Aaron Black. So I mean, that's not. It's not. I mean, it's gonna. It'll be. I think it'll be pretty solid. Yeah. You know, like like we said, the first one wasn't too bad. Um, let's see what's what's going on with HBO Max. HBO Max also will be releasing a new Harry Potter series, as you all may know or may not know. I'm pretty sure it's a remake. Yeah, I'm very certain. I think a lot of the original cast is still in it. Maybe. Yeah, I think I saw something where it was uh, the kid who played Draco. Mm -hmm. He is mm -hmm. playing Lucius now, the father. Oh, Which I would actually that'd be funny to see. Yeah, that would. And then be I don't know if it was a fan cast, but I don't know, it looked pretty official. Uh, and then I think Daniel Radcliffe, who played Harry Potter, Rupert Grant, Emma Watson, they yep. all said that they will be in it. I'm not oh, sure okay. if that's real or not. Uh, I think this is just rumors, but I hope these rumors are true. One of my fan casts for that though, I want to see Adam Driver as Severus Snape. Really? Yeah, I think he I can could, see it. I could, I think he could pull off a perfect Snape. Yeah, yeah. I, I could see it. He's a, he's a very good actor. He's a very good actor. People yeah. don't really give him too much credit, but he's 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 pretty good. He's a very good actor. <clears throat> uh, HBO Max or not HBO, Harry Potter. I know that there are some mix. Uh, a lot of people have mixed feelings on it um, because they all we uh, we all grew up with Harry Potter. Yeah. Whether you were late with it or early with it when it was first coming out or when, like, all the movies were done, just as for me, I'm pretty sure all the movies were pretty much done when I started technically watching them. I didn't like it at first, actually. Yeah, same here. I've, I used to bash on it a same. lot. I'm not going to lie. I used to r really rip into it, especially on my brothers for watching it. Yes. Yeah, and then last year, my junior year, that winter break, uh, my brothers came home. And they're like, like, we're watching Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. I'm like, no, I don't want to watch Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. <laughs> they sat me down. Every night we knocked out a new Harry Potter movie. I didn't really like the first one. I was like, okay, this is kiddish. Same thing with the second one. And mm -hmm. the third one, hit. I'm like, this is a masterpiece, man. man. I'm, I'm, I'm like, when are we going to watch the fourth one? <laughs> uh, same thing with Lord of the Rings. I ended up really liking Lord of the Rings, too. Not as much as Harry Potter, but... I like Lord of the Rings. I, I like that through Harry Potter. I also ripped into it because my sister loves it. So we would, all, she would uh, always watch the uh, marathons that would come on. I would watch. I'll watch with her because I didn't have anything else going on. But like, I didn't really like the movies. I would just sit there and watch it. Yeah. But then, like, starting like a year and a half ago, I'm thinking to myself, Harry Potter actually might not be that bad. And then I watched all of them again at the start of the year. And that, yeah, I enjoyed it. I actually had I had a fun, I had fun watching it, and it was it was very enjoyable. Because like they split it up perfectly. Like the first yeah. hour, hour and a half of the movie, it's oh whimsical, wizard, magic, fun, mm -hmm. and the last hour is like dark, dark and despair yeah. and murder. It's like yeah. oh my god, how does this happen to a bunch of thirteen year olds? I man? know, man. <laughs> it's 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 crazy that they just yeah. they man. And they basically what they said was it's, it's actually going to be a show. So it, what they're going to do is each season will be. A, uh, a, book. a book, yeah. So, like, first season will be Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Was that Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, that was yeah, Sorcerer's yeah, Stone. Yeah, first uh, Sorcerer's Stone. Chamber of Secrets. Secrets. Yeah, yeah. Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet, yeah. and then Fifth, I don't remember. I can't wait for Goblet. Yeah. I love Personally, Goblet. I think my favorite is probably the Half-Blood Prince. Really? I was not expecting that. Wow. Especially the, I mean, I'm just going to, it's not like I'm spoiling it. Yeah, that's I was not that's expecting Snape word, uh, to be... The half blood prince, yeah. and in the end, when he's looking at Dumbledore, he goes, A lot of cadaver, and he hits him real yeah. quick with that. I was like, No, was isn't like, that the one where Dumbledore where Severus dies? dies? No. no, 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 Severus no. doesn't die, he dies to the last one, yeah. And that's what you well, not Severus, out. sorry, Sirius Dumbledore. Black. No, but Sirius Black dies in uh, Which the one? fifth one. Oh, because remember, he was uh, he was fighting with Harry, and his mm -hmm. cousin, cousin Bellatrix hits him with the Avada Kedavra. And then he dies, and yeah. he's like, nice shot, Harry. Or, like, nice shot, James. They call him his father. I was like, no. And then uh, he died. And then later on in the movie, Dumbledore and Voldemort, you know, went toe-to-toe. -to -toe that was cool. Baseball. That was so sweet. 
but yeah, the person my favorite is Half Blood Prince. Yeah. I just, <sighs> I I, t- I caught my I, ca- I catch myself enjoying the fourth one the most. Uh, that's God with the Fire. Yeah, yeah, that one's sweet. That yeah. one's really good. Uh, it's it's a really close battle for all of them. Yeah. But like, I just I guess I was just so shocked to see what happened in Half Blood Prince that it just easily became my favorite. Mm-hmm. Order yeah. of the Phoenix was my least favorite though. Which that was the fifth one. That's the one where Sirius died. Black. The only part I really remember from that is there's serious black dying. Serious I'm, I'm black dying, the Dumbledore, Dumbledore fight, fight. I, and then like the first like hour and a half was just so boring to me. Like, cause like when Harry was like being accused of something, they had to go to like the, the wizard court, and then that lady in the pink. I did not like that lady. Oh my god, yeah, I was so happy when the giants like kidnapped. <laughs> I was like, yes. I'm like, I'm like either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't like. I didn't really like the movie, but like that part was cool. I yeah. there were I mean, parts was, I enjoyed. It was still a great movie. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but easily not the most enjoyable one. Yeah. But yeah, uh, uh, one of my favorite parts from that is when we get to see all Sirius Black's. I'm not Sirius Black. All Severus Snape's backstory. Yeah. When like he's dying and then Harry takes the tear from him. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh no. I was like, and then we got yeah, to see he's like the unsung hero. He saved Harry in the third one with his Patronus spell. Yeah, great, great redemption arc. Yeah, he, he's a Loved very it. good character. And you know, that's just kind of what we were thinking about for the new Harry Potter series. What do you, the final thoughts you want to get on? I'm excited for it. Like I said, I like I ripped on the Harry Potter. I learned to love it, and I cannot wait to see what they do with this. Uh, I really just hope it's not a rehash in the movies, though. If that makes yeah, sense. That makes sense. Yeah. I could see that, you know, it's, that, 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 that's a fair thing to be wary about, you know, yeah. those type of situations going on. But it's like, I don't want to be watching and be like, oh my God, I already know. Like, like this, this yeah. you guys already done this. I want something like fresh. Yeah. If we're going to do this. Yeah. You know? But yeah, that's just kind of our thoughts on it. Now, topic two, we have Mario, the new Mario movie. I still have not seen it yet. Nor have I. I, I yeah. still need to see it. But um mario has had the (coughs) biggest opening opening night and weekend for any animated movie which first of all i'm not surprised what are your your thoughts on that i'm not surprised either i knew it was going to do well especially right away when they released the trailer you saw a lot of things all over the internet on instagram on tiktok especially when the casting got released. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people were skeptical of Chris Pratt playing Mario, yeah. which I thought was pretty funny. I'm like, yeah. how is Chris Pratt going to do Mario? I'm like, no, I was interested to see Jack Black as Bowser, Charlie Day as Luigi. Yeah, I heard I heard Chris Pratt did good. I, I, yeah, I heard he did. Chris Pratt's not a bad actor. I think everyone hates on him because what he did in Infinity War <laughs> and ended up getting everybody killed <laughs> just because he, he couldn't control his universe. emotions. He did. He, did. He, he killed half the universe, not 100%. Thanos. Yeah. yeah, it's his fault. It is, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I still, I still really, really want to see it. Um, I've only seen you know parts and clips of it. I've been trying yeah, to avoid it. Looks everything. pretty good. Yeah, uh, I saw. I, I kind of got a little spoiler. It wasn't really anything big. It Don't was say just, anything, please. Yeah. No, it was just a uh, Seth Rogen laughing kind of. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I seen Donkey Kong and him doing it. Like, His laugh is so His funny. Laugh is bro. iconic, dude. Like, <laughs> If I'm in public and I turn around and I hear that, I'm like, oh my God. It's Seth Rogen. Rogen. Oh my oh God. God. I'm like, I'm going to give the guy the biggest hug ever. The first time I heard his laugh was when he was yeah. playing Bob in uh, Monsters vs. Aliens. Or what is that? Yeah, 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 yeah Monsters vs. Aliens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I may not have a brain, gentlemen, but I, I have, have an idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh laugh. my God. I love him so much. I he's love such a, He's just such a great guy. I know. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, but I am. I do want to see the movie. Uh, I'm happy it is doing good. I know it has the biggest opening, and it is the most logical movie to be made in the Nintendo movie universe. Yeah. Now, what else could they do? I mean, they can do other movies, but yeah, I mean, everyone like, knows Mario. Yeah. If they want to, if they really do want to make a animated universe, and they want to execute it properly and like get hype up, personally, because you know, let's just think about the Smash roster. Like, think about these characters. I personally think that a, a Zelda movie would be the move for the next one if they do yeah. want to execute this because it's very... Because Zelda's also... Yeah, very That's popular. OG, too. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's 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 pretty up there next to Mario. Pretty mm-hmm. much. Yeah. It's, it's pretty up there. It's very, very popular. Because when you say Nintendo, that's... Uh, other than... Everyone's going to say Mario first. I, oh, 100%. Yeah, everyone knows Mario. He's the face of Nintendo. Yeah, you could go somewhere in the middle of nowhere, show a picture to some guy who's never had internet, and, oh, Mario. Yeah, yeah you, you know what you're Every, about Everyone knows time. Mario, yeah. And yeah. then Zelda comes in second, mm-hmm. and then third would probably be... I would think Samus. You know, yeah, you know, yeah, I, I was thinking the, Samus, yeah. yeah. I would, I would low-key think Samus, 
Or what? Kirby's Nintendo, right? Yeah, Kirby. yeah Kirby's, Nintendo. Kirby's Nintendo. Is Sonic Nintendo? No, he's Sega. Sega, okay, yeah. Oh, they already made a Sonic movie, though. Yeah, they already made yeah, it. Yeah, I, I watched the first one. I love Jim Carrey. That I like them both. The second one was a very fun watch. In my I didn't watch it. I just never got a chance to watch the second one. Uh, I know Idris Elba's in it. I, yeah. I personally love him. I do, too. Yeah, he's just such a great actor. I love seeing him and just every movie in general. Mm -hmm. uh, great actor, so I still got to watch the second one. You uh, said. What was another one? Pikachu was... Oh, Detective Pikachu? Yeah. yeah I that, thought it was all right. It was kind of weird. Well, no, no, I'm saying, is that Sega or is oh. that Nintendo? I think that's its own thing. That's actually. its own thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I watched it uh, mainly just for Ryan Reynolds. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of weird that he, he turned out to be his dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was like the weirdest <laughs> turn for me. Like, <laughs> it's actually Ryan Reynolds. I was like, I was like what? This, this doesn't make sense. So, <laughs> like, no, but like... It, so, I don't know. It was weird that he was dead. It, I don't know. It, it was like, was Pikachu his dad? Yeah. Okay, now, so now we're both confusing each other. <laughs> oh, wait, so, so was Pikachu his dad? But that doesn't make sense. How is he human, then? That's what I was wondering. Like, yeah. I don't think we saw Pikachu at the end of the movie. Or maybe I, maybe I the main character is just a schizophrenic or something. <laughs> you know, maybe we got a nice, like, Donnie Darko situation on her. <laughs> I don't know, bro, because, like, I'm sitting here, like, because they were like, I remember they said something about dad, and then you see Ryan Reynolds, and he calls him dad. I'm like... But that's Pikachu's voice. So is that Pikachu that turned yeah. into a human? It's weird. It's weird. Anyway, anyway, it's weird. Yeah, it's, it's, like it's very weird. Type of mental illness. Yeah, it's, it's weird. God, no. and it's so I'm thinking Zelda, Samus. I don't really know how I feel about Star Fox yet. Being it will definitely be. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know what Star Fox is. He, uh, the only one that I really know are the three you mentioned. Yeah, and then whoever is in Super Smash Bros. Yeah, uh, or. Uh, was it, is that that fighting game is it called Super Smash Bros? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I know Lil Mac and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mega, uh, Mega Knight, Meta Knight, Meta Knight. He will be with Kirby. That's Kirby's. Uh, yeah, this is Arch Nemesis. I hate him. I hate him in that game so much. <laughs> He's a cool fighter though. He's so cheap though. My friend Cole cheap. always uses him. It's not even fair. Oh yeah. Like he literally just spans the same move. He's like, you suck. You suck. You suck. You. Suck. <laughs> it's important. You don't got any skill, dude. Like, I take my fighting games very, very serious. Not literally. Spammers yeah. are spammers are like the worst thing yeah. in a game. If I get spammed, it ruins it ruins my mood. Not even for the night, for the week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's so ugly. It's so because like, you can be good and like. Like spammers who just spam abilities, it's hard to counter them because yeah. they just do the same thing, and you hopefully expect them to do another thing, but they don't. They don't. Yeah, I uh, I remember one time I was watching like the World Tournament for Mortal Kombat 11. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy won Sonic Fox. If yeah. you were listening, I would easily beat you in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. He does the same three moves. He puts somebody in the corner, and then he just does like the up shoot and up kick move and oh, slams yeah. them back down and repeats. It's not That's even so fun ugly. to watch. It's like, yeah. bro, it's like. You don't see. That's You're a loser, dude. Yeah, yeah I, I'm getting mad even talking about. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting heated. But yeah, I mean, I think that there a lot, a lot can be done with this. You know, I think it'll be very interesting. You know, Same. and because this is a this is big moves. Yeah, very very big moves. You know, we've seen what they do with Mario. They could, there's so many franchises that Nintendo has that you can bring into a movie universe and do same an like an good animation uh you don't have to go off like the typical story you know same animation and everything but it can i think it very well can be executed properly you yeah know? no i i completely agree and that and the directors are good yeah they were good especially um oh, it's something about a director Oh yeah, just I guess just a little thing. Uh, the Russo brothers. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I was like, because you said directors, I'm like, I'm like, I saw something right when I woke up. Like, I just about the Batman movie. thing. Yeah, yeah, the Batman. Like they said, they would be open to direct a movie in James Gunn's you know, yeah, DC that. universe. If we can get an Infinity War or Endgame type of movie yeah. in DC, that that would be, be amazing. I just want to say that real quick, not to go off topic or anything. Uh, Dark Apoc Apocalypse War. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm oh saying. Apocalypse War. Oh that that's our end game. That is literally our. That's DC's I, end. That game. would be nuts. That or Crisis. That oh or Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, that's and all I'm just saying. to see Flash go back in time oh, and man. reset everything. People, oh. we wouldn't know what to do with themselves because you know how oh, when Lord. you walked out of the theater after uh, Infinity War, it's like, wow, Thanos literally just killed Spider-Man, half the universe, I know. and everybody. 
and you're walking out, you wait the entire year, yep. you go see Endgame, and then boom, Tony dies, but everything gets reset. I know. So say you have uh, the first movie is how they take the fight to Apocalypse, yep. and they fight Darkseid there. Everyone dies. Batman gets captured. Mm-hmm. Superman and Raven and you know Robin go back and yeah. stuff. Second movie is them coming back. They fight. They lo- They basically kind of lose. Yeah. Even though they win, they lose again. And then Flash just goes back goes in time back and in resets time. it. And, mm-hmm. and then, uh, well, what's he calling his phases? Well, chapters. I think oh, he's calling yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, chapters. Yeah, say that ends like chapter three or something, and they go into chapter four. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I, I want to know what to do with myself. I would be so happy. I would think if they uh, they can either do Dark, uh, Apocalypse War for the for the first big event, yeah, and then for the second big event we have to do a Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah. Oh my God. We have to. Oh, I just want a Flashpoint movie so bad, and I really hope that's what this flat upcoming Flash movie mm-hmm. is. I don't think it is though, because I think Michael Keaton's Batman is still Bruce Wayne, yeah. not Thomas Wayne. Because in the trailer. We don't see him, you know, dark and grim using yeah, guns and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's still like Keaton Batman. Yeah. He's, still, he's still Michael Keaton. Yeah. I, even if Michael Keaton was uh, Thomas Wayne, I don't think I could take him serious, to be honest. I, I don't, th- yeah, no, not really. I mean, he's played some serious roles, but I, I don't yeah. know. Just seeing, just seeing him as Batman already, it, it wouldn't really be the same. Yeah. What was that about? It's, oh, oh, I, what I'm really hoping they do is like the first, because, you know, chapter one is Gods and Monsters. The mm-hmm. first movie that has to do with Gods and Monsters is like a black screen. You just show a white screen that says chapter one, Gods and Monsters. Yeah. I want I want to see that. And then, yeah. like, when we get the next when, when we get the next chapter, the first movie that comes out for that chapter, chapter two. Well, uh, Superman oh, Legacy is in post-production, right? Or yeah, pre- pre-production, that. not post-production. I, I wish James it was in Gunn post-production. was working on it. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yep, it's right now working so we actually might get this universe sooner than we expect yeah yeah which i'm pretty excited for yeah i and i like that james gunn is taking this into his own hands yeah you know for the for the superman movie and him we trust and yeah him we trust and, and gun we trust bro that's that's what me and my boy say it because like it's good because like i say all the time he's literally one of us he's a yeah. nerd you know so i feel like you know, he grew up on this stuff, yeah, especially he grew up, he grew up during you know, the prime time with comics and everything. Yeah, exactly. He really knows the stuff. As of me and you, we had obviously to catch up. Yeah. And then, uh, don't get me wrong, our era still had some great, great oh, comics. Yeah. We, we caught up pretty well. By we now. caught up pretty well. Oh, yeah, man. Especially because what our era had, uh, we had Red Hood, we had Azrael, yeah. we had... A lot of storylines that kind yeah, of Yeah, and a bunch off. of new storylines. Mm-hmm. So we had the Batman Who Laughs, which was... Yeah. Ooh, ooh, he's still my favorite villain. Imagine if we see that. Oh, my God, that'd be don't nuts. Don't if we, if, cause if we, especially if we get started. Robert Pants as Batman, because I don't know if you've oh watched the movie... Oh, my God. If you ever watched the movie Good Time, mm-hmm. he was kind of so like socio and psychopathic in that Robert Pants. Oh, Pattinson. man. He has the acting ability to play the Batman Who Laughs, and then the brutality. And if you know the backstory uh, to get him, my hopes up, please. If you know, I'm getting my hopes up. Oh, my God. If you know the backstory to that... It would, oh my God, it'd be terrible. Jesus, man. Because you can't stop him. You yeah, can't no, stop him. You can't stop he him. Says, he literally died in one of the comics, and he comes back as more powerful in Dr. Manhattan's body. Yes. How do you do that? It's that? insane. Like, oh the man with gosh. the plan. Oh my gosh. I, I, I <laughs> man. Because, like, the thing is, what, what the MCU does. The, they have these characters and they are strong, but they're not necessarily st- comic strong. So like, so they can't necessarily bring in like the big hitters like Hyperion, can't bring in Sentry, can't bring in Null, because like they're they're not that strong. Maybe after Secret Invasion something happens. Yeah. But with <clears throat> with DC, you know, gods and monsters, I don't think that obviously they're not gonna be strong, right? Like crazy strong right off the bat. Yeah. But we might get like. I think if we do get one, the strongest one we're going to see is Doomsday. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. if we do get to see, because you know, yeah. he is a monster He's and a monster. god. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think that we can't, I think he'll make these characters, like the gods part specifically, like Superman, quote unquote, because obviously people think of, think of him as a god. God, yeah. I think um, he's a god, man. Yeah. Probably but the universe. he can do a lot of things. He's very strong. Flash. I want to see some big things from him. We all know how much of a heavy hitter he actually he is. Because he can take out Superman easily. It, easily. Oh, my God. Yeah. N- no doubt about it. Flash is easily one of the most underrated DC characters mm-hmm. ever. Because if he could ever reach his full potential, like how, like, like how Wally West did. Oh, man. You know, uh, like, uh, every time I think Wally West, I think that one comic panel 
where it's him who you know he's like lost in the speed force yep. and he's like smiling yes. and he's happy yes. and it all hits him at once. Yeah. And then he just turns into an absolute unit after. I know. If we can get a flash like that who can tap into his speed force, use his power to the max. Chef's kiss. It'd be great. Chef's kiss. <laughs> oh my god. Because like, because like the lightning colors do mean something. Like yellow is like, all right, we're cool. Like with the speed, speed. Okay, so like, lightning equal color equals the connection to your speed force. Yeah. There's red, which is the weakest connection, but still not a bad connection. There's yellow, where it's like, all right, we're cool. You know, we boys, we we we, we getting we're stuff. We for now. Yeah, yeah. But white is the is the connection. Like you yeah. understand the speed force the most. And if Wally, I just want to see, what's his name? Redhead. Impulse. Nope. Bart Allen. That one? Well, I want to see Wally. But who is the actor from River? Not Riverdale. Is it Riverdale? Yeah, Riverdale. I never watched Riverdale. Man. Okay. So it's like the redhead guy. I gotta look this up. It's the redhead guy, and like people are like, I want to see this guy in specific because. He, they, he was almost uh, the brother from Wonder Twins, KJ Appa. Let me take a look. Let me see a picture of this dude. Right take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Hold up. You know how Wally West has like the red hair. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I can see that for sure. I need. We need KJ. He, listen, I just want to say before David Zaslav took over for like helped out with took over for DC. They almost did that Wonder Twins movie. He was about to be the brother. Waste of potential. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. No no else was another major waste of potential. Hmm. I don't know if you... Because uh, this was actually very hush, like hush-hush, low-key, was Channing Tatum as Gambit. Yeah. For uh, cause yeah. Marvel was making a movie. They had it all written out. They were literally about to go into production, and they canceled it. And it put Channing Tatum in a depression for a little bit. Yeah. He I literally he was said he was, like, like, this, he was like, this was Marvel's Goodfellas. Yeah. Yeah, which is an insane comparison because obviously Goodfellas being a cult classic film with Martin Scorsese's. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, when I heard this, I was like, wow. I'm like, I'm like, he was heartbroken. I'm like, we lost. I would be heartbroken too, to yeah. be honest, because he really likes that character. Mm -hmm, yeah. And if you obviously have seen like comic panels of him, Channing Tatum could play him. Yeah. I can see him. Yeah, yeah I can totally I, see that. He's a pretty cool character. Yeah. You know? And, you know, I, I do want to say that if. If James Gunn is really planning to do a universe, and we, I, first of all, I just want to say I like the use of chapters instead of phases. Personally, I, yeah. I just think that's cool. And like, I think that the chapter, I think it's cool that the chapters have names, like chapter one, Gods and Monsters. Like, that's, 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 that's hard. Dope. It just I, goes I hard. That's so yeah. hard. You that's know? My, my favorite director is Tarantino. He does that, especially with Inglorious Bastards, mm -hmm. how he did his movie by chapters. Mm hmm. I feel like just doing it by chapters just sets up the movies so well. Yeah, and especially, I think it places it yeah. nicely together, you know? Like, oh I just, God. oh, man, I can't wait. I just cannot God, wait. I wish I had, like, a time traveling device. I yeah. know. Like, I got to watch. I got to see what he's I cooking know. up, man. He's, like, he's like stirring, let me in. He's stirring the pot. He Open is stirring the, the pot. And just, this is so exciting. It's so funny how we just branched off completely into it. Oh, my God. God. Yeah, we're talking about Nintendo one second. I know. All right. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Yeah, we it's have okay. time. We have time. time. We have time. We, oh, we actually have a lot. We have a lot. Of time. We only have one more main topic left. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, but yeah, I mean, shoot. I guess that's another topic, you know, bonus topic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Christmas came early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty cool, you know. Yeah. And, but yeah, that's just. You know, I guess that's kind of just what we're thinking on that. Oh my god! You know, I'm so hyped. Right I know now. I am too. I personally, I have always liked DC. Well, I actually used to like Marvel more than DC, but after eighth grade, I liked DC a lot. I've always Marvel. been DC ever since the Batman Arkham games. Oh, oh. Ooh. so good! Oh my god, bro! Such a perfect because that's where the Batman who laughs that's, got introduced. Because yeah. you saw Batman turning into Joker, having to deal with his past again mm -hmm. with Jason Todd. Coming back to kill him, yep. while Scarecrow and all these other rogue villains are taking over Gotham City for the last Ooh. time. Oh man. my god! Oh man, I'm oh I'm, I'm getting too excited. I'm getting way too excited because I don't know what's gonna like, happen. I'm trying not to scream in the microphone and you know, completely <laughs> destroy our listeners' eardrums, <laughs> but I I'm going crazy over. I here. know I am I yeah. am too I am too. But that's okay. That's okay. It's just I'm I'm geeked. I'm geeked. They gotta let me into like they gotta like let me like kind of write some of the movies. I know. James Gunn, if you are listening, 
invite me and Kayden out, I, and oh, we, will oh, man. we will deliver. We will deliver so hard. <laughs> or at least let us be critics and let us see some screening. I or know. Something, oh or something, because I got to see it. I got to see it. I, I think I just like DC more. I, I just like let DC me do, more. Let us do some castings. Too. Oh, man. Like, I think on. we can get some castings. Oh, we can get some great castings, Oh, yeah, 100%. Dude. Oh, Come my on. God. Put us in the chair. Put us in the chair. Put us in the chair. Reverse Flash, like we said earlier, Anthony, Anthony Starr. Star. Easy. Easy. That's easy. Boom. Oh, man. No, see, see, we see, already like, got boom. it. Boom. But no one, people would lose their mind. I know. If they saw Homeland, they're playing. Reverse, I know. One of the biggest haters in DC Universe. I know. It's so and it's crazy. Anthony Starr. Oh, oh man. man. He could do so good. Oh, my. It'd be crazy. He could do so good. It'd be good. crazy. I can't wait for season four of that, dude. Oh, that's gonna, man. That's going to be Oh, wild. my gosh. I love the boys. I love the boys. Uh, they just finished up production, too. They started they start oh, sending no, them. I follow no. Anthony Starr on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're the only celebrity I follow. The guy's just a riot. Oh, man. He, he's literally a Homelander playing Anthony Starr. I know. <laughs> that makes I, sense. God, we, we, just, uh, we need it. We need Reverse Flash. Oh, my God. We need Reverse Flash. So we just getting geeked about it already. I'm getting too hyped. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's All right. move on to our third topic. We oh, have we the Marvels. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? Go for it. I got to take some time to relax. <laughs> <laughs> the, <clears throat> the trailer, it doesn't say too much but you can kind of gather some things that the whole thing is you know the bangles and those cosmic abilities are all connected in some way we have monica rambo captain marvel miss marvel the marvels having a team-up movie which is really interesting to me yeah i think it's like our first like actually it's not our first team-up movie yet. No, not our first team-up because like technically we have thor and hulk and ragnarok yeah yeah you know, and then what we have nick fury and spider-man yep, yep. i mean to be honest for me i've never really even though the movies of spider-man are canon to marvel yeah i've never really considered the marvel because it just always had that sony vibe to it mm -hmm. if that makes yeah. sense yeah i can give you that yeah picture. yeah uh, especially the same thing with Venom. Venom is not Marvel, or I guess now he is. It, I don't know. That's very really confusing. I don't yeah. know what's really going on with that. Yeah. It's the, he, they, I, they didn't even talk about that. They didn't like not, the directors didn't say anything. Kevin Feige didn't say like yeah. you know. Anyways, but it's it's it, it, I would say it seems interesting, quote unquote, because like it, it's cool seeing. Because I want to say Miss Marvel is my second favorite. Um, Marvel hero, which is she's powerful. Dude. She's powerful, and she's I actually awesome. do enjoy her character. You yeah, know, I never the, watched the Mar the movie though. The the, the show movie. was our. It was I heard the show was horrible. I'm I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it 100, man. It was, I I heard it was the worst show Marvel has ever produced, and I didn't even bother to touch. Mediocre, it. but a fun watch. Somewhat fun watch. I Somewhat I like her character in the comics more, obviously, and. You know, I like. I know that she has an obsession over Captain Marvel, and Captain. When she basically what happens, it, you, you don't care if there's spoilers. No, you. go for it. At the end of Miss Marvel, what happens is Kamala does something with the bangle, and then she swaps places with Captain Marvel. Like Captain Marvel, literally, like. Oh yeah. Turns up. Yeah, that. she turns yeah, up yeah. at in her room. She yeah. comes out of her room looking around like, "What the heck? Why is there so many pictures of me and all this?" And they're basically trying to figure that out while trying to stop a big bad who is trying to get the bangle. And it's it's kind of, I don't even know how to piece it together that well, you know? Because obviously there's a connection with the bangles. We've talked, they've talked about that, Ms. Marvel, that there's some outer connection to it, which they're going over in the Marvels. Monica Rambo is helping Nick Fury trying to figure this out. They mm -hmm. even go to Kamala's house. Like, can we speak to Kamala? And they talk to her family like, this is what's going on. We're going to need her. All this. And, like, knowing Kamala's family, in the comics at least, they would probably almost never let her go because, like, they're very protective of her. But, like, in the show, they're kind of more lenient, I guess, which is okay. It's no problem. But it's kind of weird to piece it all together. What do you, what do, what do you think? I, like I said, I did not watch the show. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't really have that much thoughts on it. You um, see the trailer? I did not actually. Okay, I didn't yeah, know the trailer came out. I just kind of weird. We talking about you know just uh, it's in production or something right now. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie. I could care less for it. Yeah, same. Yeah. It's like yeah. I think for me, just with Marvel now, it's like well, it's crazy how like how like our enthusiasm changes. From I know what we're talking. About. <laughs> like, we're going crazy for DC over and then Marvel. And then Marvel. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. 
Yeah, I just I just really don't care for my I did watch a little bit of Ant Man the mm-hmm. other day. Mm-hmm. I watched about thirty ish minutes of it and then I kinda just turned it off and I've had no desire. The first act was kinda iffy. Second yeah. and third act wasn't too bad. Yeah. Uh, uh so yeah, I'm not really it's I can right. wait for that. I can too. <laughs> I'm not really too geeked about it. Cause like I mean like like I said, Kamala's still my second favorite. Um Marvel character, but it's just I mean her character in the show. She I will say the actress is very charismatic. She plays her very well. Very, that's what I heard too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she plays her very well. I heard it wasn't. I heard it wasn't the actor's fault. It was no. mainly it's just the writing. The writing, and yeah. you know it's kind of weird that they the writing, the execution. The, yeah. Uh, I wish they did her powers differently. I know that they made her a mutant, but yeah, you know that, that kind of. I am sucked. happy we are getting mutants though. Yeah, that soon. that was cool. Uh, like She Hulk when we saw. You see, like the Wolver. You see, Wolver, a man with claw fight with in a bar. You see in that yeah. In the article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man mm-hmm. with claws fight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gets yeah. in like a little bar fight. Yeah. Uh, same thing with when we saw Abomination, Tim Roth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, personally, I love Tim Roth ever since I saw him in Reservoir Dogs. Mm-hmm. Great, <laughs> He's a very charismatic movie. guy. Yeah, very charismatic, cool guy. You can give him any role and he can play it. Yeah. Uh, very, very underrated actor. I mean, he's more of an older actor. Yeah, I just but, want to uh, say I, I enjoy She Hulk. I mean, yeah. That may be a hot take, but yeah, I think no, it was a fun. I, one. I watched a little bit. It was. It was it fun. Was chill. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. It was chill. You know? Other than the Megan the Stallion. Oh my god! That was, <laughs> I had that was to mention crazy. that. I was like. Ugh. Yeah, that was. I was like very like cringing, and I was like shrugging underneath my couch. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm like, um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too geeked about it. I, I, but I also with Miss Marvel, I will say that I did like how like when they first when her best friend was like. You're there's some type of mutation, and then they put you hear the guitar riff of the X Men. It goes, no, 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 no. I was like, oh, was like, yeah. And then what? We got we we saw Charles Xavier too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we saw that. Uh, we saw what is Reed Richards a mutant? I guess technically, kind of. Ten- technically speaking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Him and the Fantastic Four are they're mutants. Are technically mutants. speaking. Yeah. They don't really go over that in too much, but they're mutants. Yeah. You know. But you like they're not <coughs> mutant. Yeah. Um, Seems like we that's also really have the Deadpool three coming. I mm-hmm. actually saw something recently. Uh, Ryan Reynolds says it is a completely different Wolverine. Even though it's Hugh Jackman, it's like a new, it's a new take on Wolverine. If that makes sense. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, I think we we already saw a perfect Wolverine within mm-hmm. the X Men, and then and then Logan the yeah. movie. Great solo standing movie. He he'll probably be like a little more like still on the serious side because like. You know, him and Deadpool, every time they team up, he's, like, always bashing on Deadpool. And like, yeah. But, like, you know, they'll just be chilling, you know, doing their thing. But it's just I don't I don't care for the Marvels. Anyway, speaking of some Marvel news, some sad news, <sighs> some nerve-wracking news, Jonathan no. Majors. I'm pretty I, – I, I don't know anything about, like, the law. We don't know anything about, like, law stuff. Well, he has any his trial that. coming up. His trial is that. coming up. His agency dropped him. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, his agency did drop him, and a lot of movies are – uh, t- dropping them from their projects. I don't know. Cause no like, word from Marvel yet. Though. Yeah, no word from yeah. Marvel. I, I think they might su- wait it out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, they're very, you know, yeah. on that. It's It sucks because I want to see him as Kang. Oh, my. He's, uh, in Loki, he just has such the he Kang had, vibe. Yeah, he, 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 had he, had, he had it down. Yeah, he, he had, had it down. down. I'm hoping that things go. I'm hoping that. Because I'm pretty sure like they were like, there was no video or photo evidence of of him like actually doing uh what, what was it uh, assault I think, uh, I think it was like domestic violence yeah me. something like that I don't know. um let me search it pretty sure the lawyer said that there wasn't any video or photo evidence of that and people were saying like he was actually the one that called the cops all this i don't know if it's true or not i mean we just got we gotta wait to uh until his court i mean same thing with uh johnny depp happened yeah and we know johnny depp is innocent yep uh, he was, well, he was getting charged on also domestic violence mm-hmm. and abuse, mm-hmm. and, uh, he got fired from all his roles, especially yeah, the did. Harry Potter ones. Yeah, uh, as Grindelwald. I just want to say, I, I actually do like the second Grindelwald more anyway. I only watched the first one. Yeah, I, the other, since they replaced him as a Grindelwald, I, I like the other one. Oh, more. oh, Colin Farrell, the one. Was it oh, Colin? I thought, uh, I thought you were talking about, like, the Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, things. yeah, I, I oh, Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Grind- that was his name, Grindelwald. Okay, uh, all right. Cause I only watched the first Fantastic Beast yeah, one. Yeah, Johnny Depp's character was replaced by someone else. I, I like the other guy more, regardless. But yeah. you know, he got dropped. He's getting back in some projects again, though. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, actor was charged. Oh God. 
<laughs> Strangulation, assault, and harassment. Yeah. Uh, he has maintained his innocence and is set to appear in court on May 8th. Yeah, okay. okay. So we'll just have to wait until then and play it by ear. I, man, I'm hoping, th I'm hoping this didn't actually happen. I I'm hoping this is just somebody just trying to get money from him. And, you know, I, I, cause I, I, I need Kang. I need him I as Kang. But to be honest, after seeing Creed 3 2, man. He's, he's a great actor, but he's also a terrifying guy. He's a scary dude. Like, <laughs> why would you want to even mess with him? Yeah. Like, in general, know. man. But, but uh, you know, I'm, hope. just, I'm hoping it goes well. But, you know, that's... We can say a prayer if you want. Yeah. <laughs> you got any any final thoughts on any of these? Or? I'm I'm just hoping, like I said, in Loki, I loved him. And it's just sad that it's a possibility he might go. Yeah. Like, who... Yeah, yeah. Like, how the hell it is, sucks. Who are you going to replace him with, man? Come I know. But... That's just kind of our final thoughts. Sorry to end it off on that type of note. Mm -hmm. And, you know. So we went from so happy to sad and depressing. Because we started talking about Marvel. We started talking about Marvel. <laughs> Come on, Marvel. MCU is in shambles. It's in shambles. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, that's episode five of Cultureverse. Five weeks, man. Five, we've been doing this for yeah. five weeks, pretty well, much a month. More like six weeks because we did take a week break between the yeah. Like one yeah, yeah, and two yeah. and three. Yeah. And then also spring break. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah, we're going to keep on trying to punch out episodes every single week. Next week, we are we don't know what we're talking about. Oh, we'll nope. figure that out. We will figure that out, man. Yeah, so, yep. you uh, know. Once again, if you would like to, you know, skip your second hour and come down here, <laughs> you know, hang out with us, talk about movies, culture, stuff like that, go hit the form, and uh, we will see you later, Novi.